All right, how's it going? King of the Zeds here, and in this video, I'm going to be testing a handful of ideas and concepts that I've had. There's going to be two bases or two versions of this base that I'm going to test. The first is going to be using the idea for an AFK base setup, and then second, I'm going to be making some slight modifications to turn this into something a bit more fun that we can actively fight hordes on on a horde night. So I've already got the basic setup of this base in place. Uh, so let's jump across, and I'll start walking you through it. All right, so let's have a look at some of the key design details of this base. I mean, it's a bit of a monstrosity at the moment, the finished result, because it's not really a finished base. It's just me putting all these ideas together to see what works, just to get the pathing sorted out and just to get the main idea figured out. The uh, general idea that I wanted to put into this was that essentially we're just gonna create a, uh, a trap door that's gonna keep opening and closing when all the zombies are on it. And when they're on it and it opens, they're just gonna drop down and then loop back around to come back up and do it all over again. Now I have got an addition to this, which um, I haven't tested yet, but I'm gonna do that at the end after we've tested out this basic design in a horde. So stick around for that. Uh, yeah, my, I was talking about it with my girlfriend and she suggested calling it Silence of the Lambs or The Well. Maybe that gives you a clue about what <laughs> this, uh, this idea will be. But anyway, let's walk through the, uh, the key elements of this one. So we've got a powered drawbridge. We've got a motion sensor that has the following configuration. And this is really the key to having the periodic up and down stuff. So I've got power delay, instant power duration, five seconds. And of course we need to target zombies here. Now the camera preview, I've got it positioned so that it can see the uh, the front side of the drawbridge. So if there are zombies standing on this top platform, then the drawbridge is gonna come down. And then I've also got it just covering the, uh, the hatches that we've got, which is basically the way that the zombies are gonna path to come and get to us. That's the motion sensor. And then of course I've just got that plugged into a relay and then I've got a generator in this uh, little box over here. The next key element of this is having these uh, these pole uh, blocks here. We, we have to have this because otherwise with the drawbridge up, even taking into account the idea that the zombies are supposed to try to reach our height before then trying to path to us, I just couldn't get it to work without having this gap being bridged with blocks. Turns out, a bit of a happy accident, it creates a bit of a cool effect and that's why I was tempted to call this uh, base the slapper. <laughs> so we'll see why in just a sec. Uh, but then we've got hatches here and I've got hatches on the other side. Now I had to double up because for some reason the zombies can still glitch through these hatches and end up just getting through to our side which uh, isn't good if you want to use this for an AFK base. Uh, so I've just got a front hatch system there and then I've got another hatch here and what this does it it holds up any zombies that do glitch through they get stuck in here and then I've got an SMG turret that just takes them out and I've angled this off just to the side because if I had it right in front here then it still yeah you know, it decides for some reason it's going to try and shoot through the hatches to get the ones on the other side that's not what we want we only want this one here to take out the kind of the freaks that get through uh, the uh, the solid metal hatch. I have tested having like one block missing from here. So having the tightrope going nearly all the way to the hatch, but then having a gap to let the zombies fall through. Um, yeah, I did test that. But then when I did that, when I broke the path at the top here, it caused a whole bunch of issues down the bottom when the zombies would fall and lose focus on us. They wouldn't regain focus and try to come back up the front. They would just all sit around the bottom here. Now because we're so many blocks high, they weren't bashing on the environment, so that's good. They were outside of the rage mode radius, but they just still weren't trying to come and get to us. So to uh, to try and get around that, I put in another ladder on the backside here and then a way for them to maybe path up and back up around to the front. But yeah, that still didn't really do the trick so the only thing i mean i've got this here just in case any zombies want to take this path i haven't taken it off from my testing but yeah the only the only thing that really prevented them from milling around and not trying to get to us was completing the path with this pole going across here and so yeah that's basically it in terms of the general design of the key features of this base what I'll do now is run it through a uh, horde. I'm on day 77, but if I uh, come to the menu here, we can see I'm game stage 448 because I've already given myself shit loads of XP for a previous test on a previous video. So this will be a pretty hardcore horde. What I'm gonna do is uh, just play this out and see if we can 
genuinely use this as an AFK base. And then afterwards, just for a bit of fun, I'll see if we can turn this into the Silence of the Lambs or the Well, like I mentioned earlier. So with that, let's get to the Horde. Here we go, we're about an hour in so far and it's working pretty well. And if uh, yeah, if we just move over here, you can see why I like calling this the slapper. Just <laughs> just the way the, uh, the pole block there holds them up from dropping down immediately. And uh, the drawbridge just comes back down giving the big old slap. <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. Now, what is going on here? Oh, hang on. They are starting to bash down the bottom, are they? What is going on here? Or are they just confused for a minute? No, okay, I think we're all right. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. There was a little bit of a, a weird build up just on the edge. But look at this. I mean, they're just gonna keep recycling round and round. Now, as long as everything holds up and nothing gets destroyed, I think this would be pretty sweet for the Horde in terms of uh, lasting the full night. Ah, here, look, we've got one. Actually, we've got a few glitching through here. That's a bit odd. Oh, shit, hang on. That's no good. <laughs> All right, the, uh, the drawbridge is gone. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Well, test failed. Oh my god, how did that get destroyed so quickly? All right, let me end this. All right, what I think I'm gonna do is just repair everything and then we'll rerun that same horde, but I'll just keep an eye on the drawbridge specifically and see what we can do to prevent that damage, if there's anything we can do to prevent the damage. Hmm, okay, just pausing now. See, something, something is different. What is it? Why are they all going over here now? Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, just to prevent this happening, see, I've done, I've done a handful of tests already, and this wasn't really happening on the first time through on the Horde on, the, on this latest test. So, um, okay, let's go back like this, and I'm just gonna come and stand out in front here and see if that helps with the pathing. And let's start the AI again. And just shoot a gun, one gunshot. And that should get their attention. Yeah, I think it has. So, all right. Given that, we can now get back on to looking at what's happening with the drawbridge here. So who's damaging it? Wow, I think it might just be the sheer volume of uh, of zombies. Now, is there a way? Yeah, okay. Just looking at this, we can repair it from this side. So maybe there's some sort of design we can uh, implement here that, um, I mean, maybe this can't be an AFK base. Maybe it is gonna be the Silence of the Lambs after all. Okay, so given this, Let's see if we can just do some minor conversions down the bottom here and turn this into more of an active fighting base. All right, so we're back. Let's have a quick look at what I've done to turn this uh, failed AFK base into a pretty cool and I'm hoping it's gonna be fun, active fighting base. I've stuck a well at the bottom, <laughs> or in other words, a pit. So now when the zombies fall down the uh, trapdoor, I mean, I could have built this all the way up, but I couldn't be bothered to build all the walls, to be honest. Um, it probably would look pretty cool if we did that, but either way, I think this is enough to hold them. Um, so yeah, we've just got a pit at the bottom, so now they're going to fall into the pit. And up here, the piece de la resistance. 
an idea I've blatantly stolen from Wayward Echo in his recent video. Um, yeah, thanks for the inspiration, mate. Um, yeah, I've got a uh, hole in the ground which I can chuck bombs down. So I haven't quite implemented this in exactly the same way that uh, Echo did. But um, yeah, I didn't think it was going to give me such a good view of the uh, pit from here. So I just got lucky with the block I chose, I suppose. Yeah, we've got a hatch there just in case I fall down when we're coming to fight here. And uh, yeah, then here I've knocked out a block so that I can repair the drawbridge if it starts to lose any uh, health. I think this is just going to be proof of concept. Let's bring on the horde and see how she goes. Oh, we've got a demo. He's the first guy to fuck with us. Oh, down he goes. What a slap. Where's he gone? Oh, they're all piling in. Oh no, I missed. Look at this. Whee! Slap. <laughs> Let's get some of these down. And down she goes. Exploding crossbow bolt. <laughs> oh man, that's what I had. That's what was missing from my uh, recent Glock uh, 3x3 challenge the exploding crossbow bolts. Fucking genius. Oh, okay. <laughs> They've found a way out. They've already bashed through. Look at that. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, drawbridge. Oh my god, the drawbridge is down to 6,000 already. Alright, let's, uh, let's just pause the AI for one sec and have a look down here and see what exactly they've done. Yeah, they've just broken a hole straight out of here. I'm just going to knock a hole this way so that as they're all trying to escape I can still actually uh, see them and chuck my bombs down. Hopefully we can find a balance between the uh, you know the pit situation and having them come up and cycle around with the trapdoor. Okay so let's get them going again. Yeah so they're they're grouping around that other hole now which is a lot better so now there's a bunch down there. We can chuck one more mod, uh, one more bomb. Okay, maybe we need to time it a bit better. Okay, I like grenades a lot more than pipe bombs. I think just out of habit, probably because pipe bombs are easier to come by in the game. I've always preferred them, but uh, yeah, I never actually took a moment to look at the uh, the damage. Oh, okay, this will be a good one. 11,000 XP. Yeah, baby. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let me just do a quick pause. Right, now we've plugged that. Let's see if the grenades are going to do a better job. Come on. Kill. Oh, shit. Got one come through just to the right. <laughs> At the wrong time. Man, I really... <laughs> There's a lot down there. These grenades better if I can do something. Come on. That was pretty good. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. Definitely grenades are the way to go with this. Hang on. Oh, is the drawbridge still working? I haven't even checked it. Oh, it's getting low. Time for repair. There we go, that's the end of the horde. The uh, drawbridge didn't make it through the night in the end because I went down here to get some uh, little little cinematic shots of the zombies exploding. But uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully you found this video interesting. Yeah, it's not like the full finished working base, but hopefully there's uh, some good ideas 
to maybe just get you thinking and see if there's any way you can implement this in a better way. If you have suggestions and ideas on how to make this better, how to make it fully working AFK based, that would be awesome. Let me know and I'll see if I can uh, put something together to see if I can get that base working and uh, you know provide an update at some point. But if you want to go and check out some videos of bases that do work and are 100% fully tested and verified, then check out this next video that's popping up on the screen right now.